Hey guys, Cookie here with another ranking video. Coming into Hogwarts Legacy's release, there was a lot of anticipation surrounding the classes you could take and the colorful professors that would be teaching those classes. Now that we've progressed significantly through the game and have undergone these classes, let's take a look back at what's the best and worst of them. There are 10 classes you can take in the game and I'll be ranking them all from 10 to 1. I did not include a magical theory class with Professor Fig because you can't attend it even though Professor Fig is a major part of the story and he does teach that. Just remember this is just my opinion so no need to get upset about it but if you do disagree with me you know just be gentle right? Also I'll be showing footage from the classes and some talk about what you do in them so if you do not want to know this before you play it for yourself then this is your spoiler warning. With that said let's go. Coming in 10th place is Divination by Professor Onai. This class is just pointless. There's nothing to do and nothing interesting happens in the class. I think this was a missed opportunity to play some fun games with tarot cards or crystal balls but the game gives you no options to participate in the class whatsoever. It just shows a cutscene. Very little is even discussed about as far as what the class even deals with, even when you talk to Professor Onai directly. The entrance to the divination classroom is unique and cool, although very impractical. The look of the classroom is also pretty cool, but you don't really have any teaching that happens whatsoever, so yeah, it's a low grade for me and a dead last ranking. In ninth is Astronomy, taught by Professor Shaw. This class is a little better than Divination because at least you get to do some things, although once again, there's nothing but a cutscene that shows off Professor Shaw actually teaching anything. This is where you meet Amit Thakar of House Ravenclaw and you get a telescope from him. This class also leads to the discovery of astronomy tables and what you learn in the class does at least apply to that, but there's really nothing else to the class. You do at least do something and the astronomy class does have a unique look but otherwise it's not a memorable class and doesn't really hold much purpose in the story overall. Next up is Transfiguration taught by Professor Weasley. This is a massive missed opportunity for me. I thought this would be one of the most exciting classes because you get to transform stuff into other objects. I thought this was a mechanic in the game that would be really interesting but at least as far as the class is concerned you do very little. Professor Weasley actually does teach the class and says things to the students, which is more than the previous two classes, and you transform an object into a butterfly, which again is an improvement over nothing. Also, the classroom is pretty dull and doesn't really stand out to me, but you do learn the transformation spell from Weasley afterwards, which is pretty fun and I guess pretty cool to use, but still a disappointment of a class overall. In seventh place is Potions with Professor Sharp. I honestly thought this would be one of my favorite classes coming in, and I will say it's much better than the previous three. You do actually get a lesson from Professor Sharp, and you do get some quick time actions with making a potion, even though it's pretty uneventful. It is something. Potions is also the first class so far that you go to more than once. The classroom itself looks pretty cool with random pots and lab stations scattered around. Plus you can actually have an interesting event happen in the class thanks to Gareth Weasley. Weasley's experimental potion adds a little bit of intrigue to the class which more classes need to be honest. Still this class leaves a lot to be desired. I had hoped that there would be a lot of potions discovered in a certain way in which you have to stir it and stuff but I digress it's it's pretty cool. Next up in sixth place is beast class with Professor Howen. This class is pretty cool. I'm a sucker for cool beasts and you get to interact with a fair amount of them in this class and the beasts are just so cute especially the puff scheme. You actually learn some spells which are imperative for you to use in your future interactions with beasts including the feed and the brushing spell so it actually feels like it does serve somewhat of a purpose. Beast class offers you some interesting interactions like your introduction to Poppy Sweeting which leads to all kinds of adventures involving poachers. One thing that's kind of a downer for me is Professor Howen because she's just not that interesting to me. She doesn't really add any intrigue which drops the class ranking just a bit. Now on the positive half of the list of classes we start at number five with Charms class taught by Professor Ronan. There's only one Charms class but I actually enjoyed the oddness of Professor Ronan a lot. You might even say he charmed me. I'm so cool. I will say I'm not sure how useful this class is in the long run as you don't go back to Professor Ronan after the initial class, but the highlight of this class is the game of Summoner's Court, which you get to play at the end against Natty Onai, who also becomes a big part of Hogwarts Legacy moving forward. Summoner's Court is not an overly complicated game, but it's still pretty fun, although Natty totally kicked my ass. Overall, it's a fun class with a fun professor, and I wish we got to take it more. 
DLC maybe? We'll see. Fourth place is Defense Against the Dark Arts, taught by Professor Hackett. This class was a cool introduction to the game, with the professor almost immediately having students attack each other in a duel, which was a really fun way to kick things off. Not to mention Professor Hackett has to save a student from death in the first five seconds of class, so that's pretty cool. Also, the Hebridean black skeleton that almost kills the student is also pretty awesome looking, so definitely some extra points for classroom decor. This class leads to my favorite companion as well, Sebastian Sallow, and the cross wands, which is one of my favorite parts of the early game. Also, the little dueling map popping out of the ground is a nice touch. Third place goes to flying with Professor Kagawa. The class really did feel like a class. It didn't feel like this class was rushed through or felt disjointed like many of the classes did. You learn how to interact with your broom and of course how to fly it. Like a lot of classes, the quick time event is literally one button push, which is still kind of disappointing. However, the best part of the class itself is the actual flying. Professor Gagawa sets up a cool course with a bunch of circular rings for you to position yourself through as you fly. And this class actually has a lot of use in the game, serving as a sort of clever tutorial for flying, instead of just doing stuff that you never really use again in the game. As an added bonus, I like how Kagawa is basically just representing the Harry Potter fandom by constantly bringing up how much she wants Quidditch to be back at Hogwarts. But anyway, it's a fun class which shows you your first epic views of Hogwarts as well, so it definitely deserves a very high ranking. The runner-up is History with Professor Binns. Yes, I can't believe this is this high either, but I have to say, I actually rather enjoyed this class. Maybe it's because this class actually was somewhat long and not rushed through, but I thought it was rather fun, and I actually learned some stuff from Professor Binns, believe it or not. I thought the beginning quick time event where you have to keep yourself awake was a fun little humorous touch. I also enjoyed the humor you could have with your other classmates too about the class, which I thought was better than all other little conversations you could have in other classes. Maybe it's the realism of the class not being that much fun for the student that made it fun for me, or the humor of it all, but I actually rather enjoyed Professor Binns's class. The irony of enjoying the boring class this much is something I am very aware of. Tell me if I'm alone in this in the comments, please, but I love Professor Binns. He's just so lovably dull. And in first place is Herbology with Professor Garlic. So this class checks all the boxes of what a class should be in this game. It's not overly rushed through. You get multiple classes of it. You actually learn things that are useful in the future of playing the game. But what really sets it apart and in first is a couple of things. First off, the classroom itself is probably the best because it's a greenhouse. So it's not getting much more beautiful than that. The other thing I really enjoy is the professor. Now the internet loves Professor Garlic for more reasons than, um... I'm going to get into in this video, but beyond that, she is a fun professor who seems to really like her students and has an absolute love of everything plants. She also has a funny demeanor around the threats that plants pose and how she's aware of it, but oddly doesn't seem that concerned about it either. She's also a Hufflepuff, so I'm probably very biased. So for me, overall, this was the top class in Hogwarts Legacy. So that's my ranking of all the classes. I must say though, overall, the classes were a disappointment for me in this game. They were fun in themselves but I wanted a lot more and expected more from them like more quick time events or challenges that might make you better in those respected fields like doing a flying course to unlock certain cosmetics for your broom and stuff like that that was done directly in the class itself. So it's neat that it's in the game, but I think it leaves a lot to be desired and they could have done a lot more with it. So do you agree with my list or my thoughts on the classes or do you think I'm a fool? Tell me in the comments down below and be gentle with my fragile ego. Remember to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss another Hogwarts Legacy video in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.